Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are given the value of A, which is 3, B, which is 2, and C, which is negative 1. Find the value of Y. Okay, so for part A, Y is equal to this algebraic expression involving A, B, and C. Take note, every time we evaluate algebraic expression by substituting the value in we always try to put bracket all right so this is just a reminder for me later on all right so b is my blue color c is my yep so you will see me writing this down so y will be equals to and because i have brackets now right to prevent myself from being so confused, I use a square bracket to the power plus times three plus my b is two minus my c, which is negative one, and this one multiply by four times two minus 3 times negative 1 and therefore I can start to simplify the brackets inside 2 times 3 is 6 plus positive 2 is still plus positive 2 minus negative 1 though this is something to take note of when we minus a negative answer negative number it is the same as adding that number in. 4 times 2 is 8. And again, um, 3 times negative 1, do take note. This part here, 3 times negative 1 will be negative 3. And 6 plus 2 plus 1 is 9 times 8. Again, I see a minus negative is the same as adding addition. And in this case, is 3. And therefore, the answer to this, we are coming back to the answer to this already. Slowly, this one will be 9 times 11. Final answer, 99. Alright, that is for part A. Now, for part B, now that we know that A, again, this is always a reminder for myself to just make sure that I do put bracket every time I substitute a value in and so this one will be my a is 3 minus my b b is 2 the whole thing square minus my b minus my c Alright, so this one will become 3 minus 2 square. This will be 2, and I saw a minus negative number is the same as adding that number. And therefore, this part will be 1 square minus my 3 square. Continue. Uh, 1 square is 1 times 1, 1. Minus 3 square is 3 times 3, 9. So final answer, negative 8. Alright, that is for part B. For part C. Again, all the A, all the B, and all the C. 
and we continue this part here though is slightly tricky a will be 3 plus 1 over whole thing is over 2 minus my b all right my b is 2 plus negative 1 whole thing is over 4 plus my negative 1 minus 3 over 3 and then this will give me a positive 3 plus 1 the whole thing is over 2 minus 2 and I see this plus minus will become minus 1 over 4 plus this is if there's nothing in front this one is a positive and minus so this will be minus 1 and minus my 3 over 3 and at this point it is important to take note that when we simplify this we should view the numerator as a whole okay this is something new and therefore 3 plus 1 is 4 over 2 2 minus 1 is 1 over 4 plus negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4 over 3 and continue to simplify 4 divided by 2 is 2 minus 1 over 4 negative 4 divided by 3 will be negative 4 over 3 <coughs> and we continue Again, I see a plus and a minus, minus a negative. So this one will be negative 4 over 3. And let's do it slow and steady. Do take note. Uh, 2 can be written as 2 over 1. So I'm going to make sure that all the denominators are the same. Okay, so and I realize that this one I do step by step. This is times 4 times 4. So that the first two will be over 4. 2 times 4 is 8 minus 1. I still have my minus 4 over 3 here. And, and from here, I will get 8 minus uh, 1 is 7. Over 4 minus 4 over 3. And at this stage, continue to make the denominator the same. Such that you will finally see this. Everything is over 12. That's common denominator. 3 times 7 is 21. Minus 4 times 4 is 16. And I will get my final answer. 5 over 12. Okay, let's move on to the last part of this problem. Again, we are going to substitute. And every time we substitute, um, I always remind myself that I need to put bracket. Okay. So this will be 3 square minus my b is 2 power 2 over my c is negative 1 square minus my 3 to the power of 3 minus my c negative 1 over negative 1 
minus my 3 times 2 and let's continue to simplify slowly 3 square will be come 9 my 2 square will become 4 and the whole thing is over negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 3 power 3 is 3 times 3 times 3 and that will give me 27 and I saw this again when I minus a negative value it will give me it's the same as pause add in the value in and this one will be over negative 1 3 times 2 is 6 alright then I'm going to simplify each of the numerator first before I continue 9 minus 4 is 5 uh, over 1 it will be useful later uh, this will be 28 over negative 7 5 divided by 1 is 5 minus my this one this particular value will become negative 4 and so finally I will get 5 I have a minus a uh, sorry let me use a different color oops mm, what's wrong okay this one is positive 4 final answer 9 and we have come to the end of this video so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and have a nice day